Completely retaken by nature and forgotten over time, this deserted home preserves memories of the past. Once a wealthy Italian family was living in this mansion, with its landlord being a well-read and studied aristocrat. But more than 20 years ago, life for the family changed and they just abandoned their home. And along with it, everything inside. Guck dir das mal an, ist das eine Tasche für ein Gewehr? In this video, we enter the time capsule to find out its true story. Ist auf jeden Fall was zum Gericht. While we venture from room to room and immerse ourselves in the lives of the former residents, we make several unexpected discoveries and sometimes unsettling ones also. Um nie zu altern, steht da drauf. Zwei Pillen, das ist richtig weird. Join us as we explore the remains and take a look at the faded lives of the upper class. It's our last morning in Italy. On our road trip we went from north to south and then all the way back in just 10 days. For us it has been a journey rich in variety. On our travels not only did we experience large parts of this beautiful country, but also its forgotten past. While exploring a bunch of different deserted structures, we learned a lot about Italy's history that you won't find in a textbook or on Wikipedia. Whether it's hidden secrets underground or personal drama up close, ruins preserve these stories. After traveling in Italy for almost two weeks, it's now time for the last discovery. Heute ist unser letzter Tag in Italien. Wir haben wieder irgendwo in der Pampa übernachtet. Und Hast du jetzt was drauf? Ja, hab ich drauf. Na, dann mach nochmal. Heute ist unser letzter Tag in Italien. Wir haben wieder irgendwo in der Pampa übernachtet. Wir müssen jetzt aber schnell weg. Die Bauern haben uns gerade gewarnt, dass sie hier Gift versprühen auf ihre Reisfelder. Deswegen geht es für uns gleich zum nächsten Das Place. Auf unserer Karte heißt ja einfach nur krasse Villa. Tobi, hast du eine Ahnung, was wir uns darunter vorstellen können? Ja, halt eine wunderschön eingerichtete Villa. Ich weiß auch nicht viel dazu, aber sie wird auf jeden Fall Golden Villa genannt. Und das wollen wir auf jeden Fall herausfinden, wieso die so genannt wird. For that, we are heading to a small, inconspicuous town, as you can find them in great numbers in this part of the country. Despite its grand name, Golden Villa, the place itself is fairly anonymous. For busy passers-by, it's basically hidden. It's just a long grey facade. From the street, you don't see that it's unkempt and overgrown, and even partially collapsed. In fact, it looks more like an old farmyard rather than something I would call golden villa. But looks can be deceiving. So let's get up close and peek inside. Geh mal rein. Das sollte der Eingang sein. This is just one of many deserted structures on the property. We are searching for the living quarters.
Wir mussten uns ganz schön durch das Gestrüpp kämpfen. Aber jetzt sind wir im Innenhof. Und der ist größer als gedacht. Viele Gebäude. Most of the walls are covered with a thick green layer. And beneath it, you can see that the houses are rotting away. This place has sat empty for a few decades already. Let's see what's left inside. Everything, apparently. At first glance, it would seem as if the former residents have just vanished and all their belongings are still here. The shed we entered is the former workshop. On the walls, there are harnesses and other horse tech. It is everywhere here. I guess they were using their horses for the farm work back in the day. The door next to it is also wide open. And behind it, there is another time capsule. This is the wine vault. If wine improves with age, then this is the place to be for foodies and real connoisseurs. But I am not quite sure if I would taste any of these. We're here to find out about the people who were living in this estate and especially why they disappeared. This is the way to the living quarters. We'll find our answers there. Even though the upper floor seems to be filled with vintage furniture, we'll get back here later. The building has two floors in total, so let's start our exploration on the main one. And it seems like the more stunning chambers are downstairs anyways. This is the tea parlor filled with frescoes. The big table is missing, but this was the dining room for sure. The golden villa lives up to its name. This is the third grand room. A lounge. Also in this space you can find artwork everywhere. The whole ceiling is covered in one. All of this is a strong contrast to the plain exterior of the building. Looking around inside, this clearly seems like an aristocratic manor house. A rich family was living here. We wonder why they left in such a hurry. We might find answers in the former office. It's just a small room, but it has already been ransacked, as if people were looking for something in here. In the middle of it all, there are old slides that are keeping forgotten memories alive. Was zeigt das? Zwei Leute und eine Gruppe von Leuten, aber die Köpfe sind abgeschnitten. Oh, 
Schimmel. Schimmel. Also, guck mal. Wer ist das? Many of the people shown in these images are probably still alive. The slides aren't that old. In fact, most of them are from the early 90s. It was a time when this place was filled with life. But today, it's only void. Ein Lehrbuch über die Benutzung mit dem Computer. Sehr schönes Design. <laughs> the cabinet is full of technical drawings. Whoever was working in this office was some kind of engineer. According to what is left behind here, we guess that the building was abandoned around the turn of the millennium. The original structure dates back to the 19th century. That's the part of the building with the grand palace. But there's also a more modern part you see here. Also, most of the furniture is not as fancy as in the rooms we entered at first. Upon reaching the main staircase, we've explored everything there is on ground level. So far, it's an odd but intriguing place. Let's get upstairs to the vintage bedrooms. The hallway to the left leads to another part of the building. It's the collapsed one, with heavy decay. It's definitely not safe to be here, since parts of the floor are just gone. Seems like this is the old library. But we won't explore this part any further, and instead we'll focus on the least dangerous areas of the building complex. In the private chambers upstairs, we should find out more about the residents and why they disappeared in the first place. You can already tell that the artful decorations and frescoes you could see downstairs are getting more and more sparse now. The slides in this room show the same setting. They had a boat, so I guess the homeowner was at sea a lot. You can hear the people outside. That's because we are right in the town center. This makes our exploration a bit tricky and we have to be silent. Zweimal das identische Bild. Wahrscheinlich ein Passbild. Vielleicht war auch das. Ist total abgefahren, mit wie vielen verschiedenen Materien der Typ sich auseinandergesetzt hat. Hier sind irgendwelche Bücher über Antike. Hier sind andere Fachliteratur. Ist sogar, sind sogar Sachen rausgestrichen. 
Das ist Rechtsliteratur. Der hat übelst viel äh, Bücher zum Thema. Guck mal hier. Börsen- und Kreditrecht. Hier ist zum Beispiel Konkursrecht. Alles Konkursrecht hier. Direkt neben dem Balsamico. Da ist es noch mehr Konkursrecht. 1990. Das ist Versicherungsrecht. Na gut, aber ja, guck mal hier unten. Hier unten geht's weiter. Hier hat er irgendwelche Weltraumforschungssachen. Alter. Crazy. Hier, wie man scheinbar eine Tür richtig einbaut. <lacht> und unten diese ganze Reiseliteratur und so weiter. Ja, yes. das ist ein Mann. Apparently, this man was interested in everything. We always admire how people acquired knowledge back then, although it must have been so cumbersome. You had to leave through piles of thick tomes in the hope of finding exactly what you were looking for. Thankfully, today, it's a lot easier. For example, you can use Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community where experts from all kinds of creative fields teach you their knowledge in well-structured online courses, like film and video, music or productivity. In Italy, we wondered all the time what the secret of their amazing pizza is. And here at home in lockdown, thinking wistfully of our past travels, we asked ourselves this question even more. Nick Andera was able to give us the answer in his Italian chef secret course. Here we learned how to make a perfect thin crust pizza and brought the Italian flair home. And that's only one way in which Skillshare could help you to explore your creativity. The first 1000 people to use the link in the video description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. If you want to continue using Skillshare after that, it's less than 10 US dollar a month with an annual subscription. And now, let's get back to the exploration. Luckily, we're here together with Toby. Auf jeden Fall was zum Gericht. He's Italian himself and knows the language. Ach, das ist eine Geburtsurkunde. 1948 ist er geboren. Abschluss für eine wissenschaftliche Oberschule. Das ist eine Versicherung oder Auto zu lassen, sowas in der Richtung. Ach, na, Johnson FD ist das Auto. Was ist denn das für ein Auto? Even though there was a US car manufacturer from Florida called Johnson Motor Car, it's highly unlikely that this is about one of their vintage cars. We probably just found the motorboat registration because Johnson is also a brand for output engines. Um nie zu altern, steht da drauf. Und was ist drinne? Zwei Kapseln, zwei Pillen. Ja. 88. Das ist richtig weird. Das ist auch, die kann man auch nicht einfach so öffnen. Ist die versiegelt? Ich glaube, die ist sogar versiegelt. Was könnte da drin sein? Zwei Kapseln und dann versiegelt. Das versiegelt, guck doch, die haben die da Zange hier. Den Deckel richtig, richtig festgemacht. Und das nicht einfach so aufgeht. Jetzt musst du fast schon das Glas zerbrechen, dass du rankommst. Yeah, by now we are pretty sure that this is Viagra. That's how it looked back then. Guck dir das mal an, ist das eine Tasche für ein Gewehr? Ja, echt. Ja? Das ist, hier noch. Das ist Schwarzpulver. Was? Also hier steht Pulver zum Jagen, aber hier ist wohl auch schon ein bisschen was rausgelaufen. Das ist gerade Das ist einfach Schwarzpulver hier. The weapon inside the bag is gone already, together with most of the ammo.
By investigating the numerous bedrooms, we get the impression that only a small part of the large house was occupied when it was abandoned around 20 years ago. Most of the other chambers were already deserted before that. That's because in the end, there wasn't a family living here anymore, but only one person. We found out that the children moved out and the last resident was living here all alone at the end. Two decades ago, he passed away. Currently, the Golden Villa is still family property. The heirs saved most of the personal belongings and removed some of the other furniture, but left large parts of the house untouched. There could be several reasons for this, but family disputes and excessive inheritance taxes are the most likely ones. Either way, the veil of forgetfulness has embraced the heirs' abandoned legacy. And even though we try to lift it, it will only be temporary. Most memories of this place seem to have faded already, and the major part of its story is irretrievably lost. And so the plain building will remain inconspicuous until it crumbles one day and then falls into oblivion. Something that, in reality, has already happened. These photos were taken by our friend Toby Urbex. You can find more of his stills on social media. As always, we shared the link to his Instagram in the video description down below. Abandoned Italy Season 1 and 2 are now both completely available to watch. You can find them on the playlist tab on our channel. Almost a full year has passed since we went to Italy for the last time. We haven't been idle and have researched a lot for our next trip south. We'll make sure the series will return. Be safe until then and keep exploring.